Hey everyone, this is an abridged version of the types of content that you can explore after reaching level 50 in Lost Ark. This video doesn't cover any nuanced details of any particular content or leveling in general. You'll reach level 50 shortly after arriving at North Vern. When Beatrice calls you to Tristian after questing for a little, remember to play the song to visit her to get the quest needed in order to learn your ultimate skill as well as your last class skill. He's required to use an item in your inventory for each of them after you complete the quest. You can optionally continue questing at this point through North Vern and the next continent Shushire to receive a full free set of item level 302 gear. Doing all these additional quests takes a few hours. And in order to proceed to Rohendel in the Western Sea, you'll have to raise your item level by quite a bit, so the story ends here until you can. The moment you reach level 50, regardless of where you are in the story, it opens up the main gameplay loop. Each day on each character, you can do three daily missions, loot from two Chaos Dungeons, and loot from two Guardian Raids. There's a lot of different kinds of daily missions, and they're called Unis Tasks in-game. Depending on which one you do, you can receive different kinds of materials for progressing your character. Additionally, each time you complete one, it progresses a reputation that has a few extra one-time rewards. You can use all characters to progress multiple reputations at once, but multiple characters doing the same exact daily mission will not raise that particular reputation by more than 10 points each day. Completing daily missions earns you points that gives you little badges that you can turn in for boxes of gold and an NPC. Having more alts doesn't increase the amount of badges that you get each week, but they will let you claim all your badges earlier in the week. Make sure to take weekly missions as well. I recommend that your main character always takes missions that gives leap stones or fragments, two vital materials used for upgrading that people often run out of. Chaos dungeons are mobbing dungeons that you can do alone or in a group. They're very straightforward, and any ARPG fan should be familiar with grouping up and clearing out packs of mobs. You can get normal loot twice per character per day from these, however if you keep doing more, you can get a special currency that you can turn in to get a good number of additional materials, and has a weekly stock limit. You can also get tickets to enter a content called Cube Dungeon from your daily Chaos Dungeon runs, which offers silver upgrading mats, engraving books, as well as a good chunk of EXP. Guardian Raids are daily bosses, which are recommended to do in a group. You're welcome to do these as many times as you want, but you can only get a decent amount of loot twice per day, which is called harvesting its soul in the game UI. Chaos Dungeon and Guardian Raids scale to party size, so entering them alone does reduce the amount of HP the enemies have, but be mindful that alone, all enemy aggro is focused on you, so you'll be spending more time dodging compared to as being in a group. For daily missions, Chaos Dungeon, and Guardian Raids, there's a rest system in place. Not doing any of these activities fills up a gauge that makes it so that the next time you do it, it provides double loot. This can be stockpiled up to 5 bars of double loot. Each activity has its own rest gauge. Your main goal is to gradually upgrade the set that you either got from Shushire's main questline or the Chaos Dungeon. By reaching the level needed to enter the Abyss Dungeons of Shushire and later on Rohendel, you can obtain materials needed to craft sets which you can directly transfer your current enhancements to without any loss in a process called Secession. Abyss Dungeons are closer to traditional raids with more nuanced mechanics, multiple bosses, and no respawns during battle. They're completed weekly and must always be done in a full group. Besides for these, there are other activities which are less important to do and veer more towards optional. Affinity actions advance your relationship with different NPCs in the game, giving you additional rewards and it's necessary for one of the game's collectibles, the Adventure Journal. Life skill energy is used to do gathering professions, which has a direct gold value. Not doing life skills means you won't regenerate life skill energy, which can be considered a waste of gold, but it's not crucial enough where if you hate life skills and MMOs that you're forced to do it. After you finish Shushire's questline, you can also complete a purple guide quest to receive your private island. The orange button in the center of your screen is a reminder that you have guide quests available which tend to unlock something. If you're planning on doing life skills, it's important to begin development and research of your estate to unlock crafting recipes. It's also strongly advised that you join a guild as soon as you can. By joining a guild, you can start completing guild missions and at daily check-in to earn Silmail Bloodstones, a guild currency used to purchase upgrading materials from the guild store. Guilds also compete in GVG in both PvE Time Attack and PvP each week. PvP is accessible the moment you arrive at the first major city of Lutera, which is around level 26 or 27. There's a lot of really useful materials that you can purchase from the PvP vendor for upgrading with a weekly account stock limit. The bulk of your PvP currency will come from maintaining a high PvP level, which is paid out at the start of each weekly reset. Once you've played enough PvP, maintaining your PvP level requires minimal upkeep each week. The Tower of Shadow is a one-time content that requires higher and higher item level the further you ascend it. You can complete it on any number of characters. Each floor rewards you with items. The first time you complete each floor, it unlocks a special account-wide reward like skill points, runes, and permanent stat potions. Any subsequent character will be rewarded with bound upgrading materials. Each day, there's also a few unique dailies. They include major world bosses, chaos gates, ghost ships, and adventure islands. 
With the exception of ghost ships, these activities can be done once per day that they're available. Some days there won't be a world boss, and other days a chaos gate may not appear. Adventure Islands gives you a few choices that you can go to depending on what kind of reward you want, whether it's gold, card packs, upgrading materials, or other useful things. An Adventure Island will not always provide the same reward, so it's important you check in the UI. Also note that on weekends, you can go to two different Adventure Islands at two separate blocks of time. Cooperative Sea Voyage missions also appear throughout the day, which have you partake in mini games with your boat alongside other adventurers. The reward are special coins, which can be used to buy certain collectibles or exchange for pirate coins, a valuable commodity for buying extra materials and other useful things every week. Lost Ark is a huge world, and there's hundreds of things to collect from Island Hearts, to Giant's Hearts, to Makoko Seeds, and many more. It's not just fluff either. Many of these collectibles will reward you for your diligence, giving you things like skill points, runes, and other vital things needed to improve your character that you can't obtain through any other means. All collectibles are server-wide, so you only have to do them once. Lastly, one of the parts of the game that Lost Ark prides itself on are the small stories told throughout the game's world. These often award island hearts for completing the island's individual story or minigame. Some will make you laugh, some will make you teary-eyed. It's something worth experiencing that you'll rarely find in an MMO nowadays. If you have any additional questions, you can find me at my Twitch channel at the link provided in the description below. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful time playing Lost Ark.